Watch this. As I scroll, see that center image? It starts to expand and then it just takes over the whole screen. Now keep on scrolling and you'll see a slider where the images slide to the left with this super smooth parallax effect. And the best part, scroll back up and the whole thing reverses perfectly. Now tell me that's not one of the smoothest, most satisfying ways to showcase your work. So whether you're a designer building a portfolio or trying to show off your best projects, this layout nails it. It's got motion, it's got depth, and it actually feels like an experience, not just a boring web page. And yeah, I'm giving you the entire template so you can plug it in and make the changes you like. Now, I already know what you're thinking. This looks amazing, but won't these images slow down my site? Like, is this scroll gonna get laggy? Fair question, I've had that happen too. And it's the worst when you build something beautiful and it just chugs like an old laptop. Don't worry, I've already solved that problem. I'll show you the fix later in the video. So here's how to start. Go to your WordPress dashboard, head to pages, and then click on add new. Now give your page a title, call it something like showcase, portfolio, or even image, slider, new. Whatever helps you find it later. Now drag in an HTML widget right under your title. Then go to the pinned comment below and copy the code I've linked there. This one chunk of code handles everything. The layout, the animation, the parallax effect, and the slider. And you can use this in between different sections of your homepage as well. All right, before we preview it, let's make sure the page layout looks clean. On the right side, click page settings, turn off the sidebar, and set the layout to full width, giving your images some room to breathe. I'm also hiding the header and footer just for this page, but when you're doing it for a full screen experience, even the tiny menu on the top can ruin the vibe. If you do want this as a section on your homepage, no problem, just hide the header or make it transparent for that section only. Okay, now hit publish and preview the page. And done. There it is. You'll see the grid of images and as I scroll, the center image grows and everything fades. And then I'm in the beautiful slider. Scroll back up and everything divides. Now remember earlier when I said I'll show you how to keep all of this from slowing down your site? Well, here's what I'm using behind the scenes. I've got airlift running, which basically compresses all the images automatically. So instead of manually resizing every image or worrying about load times, airlift just takes care of that part and everything scrolls like butter. Now, if you're curious how this code works, or you want to customize the images for your portfolio, let me quickly walk you through the entire thing. Let's start with that image grid on the top. It's built with something called a CSS grid, which is basically a layout system where each image sits within its own box. If you peek inside the code, you'll see these values that tell the browser how big or small each image should be and how they fit together. Think of it like arranging photos on your wall. You want it balanced, but not boring. Then you'll see the actual image links. They're just placeholder URLs for now, but if you want to use your own images, just replace those links and you'll be done. Now there's a class called active. This gets added to the grid when you scroll to a certain point. When that happens, GSAP and scroll trigger kicks in. And that takes the center image smoothly and scales it up so it covers the entire screen. Once that's done, the grid fades out and reveals the next section which is the horizontal slider. This slider lives inside something called carousel track. And here's what happens. Instead of just moving the slider automatically, scroll trigger pins it to the screen and it waits for your scroll. So when you scroll, the slider actually starts moving. Just like before, you'll also see all the image tags here. Just make sure to swap those out with your own and you'll be done. Now what makes it feel so dynamic is the parallax effect. We're not just moving the whole slider, we're also animating how each image itself is displayed using the object position. You'll see variables that control how fast the track moves, how much each image shifts and responds, and you can adjust those values to make the scroll feel more dynamic or more subtle depending on your site. There's even a section that controls how far the images can slide and they act as guardrails 
so nothing ever goes off the screen. And that's it. You've just built a scroll triggered full screen showcase that looks really good, but also runs smoothly and loads fast. No plugins, no page builders, just a tiny bit of HTML and you're good to go. If this saved you hours or gave you ideas, tap that like button, hit subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you're working on next. See you in the next one. In this three minute video, I'll show you how to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.